I am your astrologer wonder girl taking you to new heights. Here's your daily forecast for the day of Wednesday, August 23rd, 2017. Now what I see going on today really is all about figuring out how to integrate some stuff that's been going on into your journey, into what's been going on in your life, what you've been doing, okay, for the past year, two years, whatever, you know, especially since, what, January of this year, okay? We had the new moon solar eclipse on Monday, bringing us fresh new energy, wanting to move forward, thinking a lot about our future, about the life we want, about the life we could have, about a life that just, you know, we feel is, just makes us happier. I think we're thinking about that. Then we came into yesterday, wanting really to build something practically and realistically on these new insights, on these things that had come to us about where life is going and really having to be disciplined about how we build on things. And I think we come in today and you have to realize, okay, you have a new journey, you have these new things. You can think about the details, but you, while you're thinking about the details, because we're still thinking about that, okay, because the moon's in Virgo, you need to connect it as well to your journey, to where your life is going, and to stop thinking of everything as being separate and as of being, you know, different and that kind of thing. You know, it's not that you're building some totally new life, it's that you're building a new life that's connected to something in the past, and your past got you here, and here is gonna get you to your future. And I think you need to start seeing everything uh, together and trying to figure out how to put the pieces together and finish painting the same picture, you know, or painting a new picture but with different kind of paints and a different style and things like that. And I think you need to figure out what is the whole body of work, this whole, you know, complete collection of artwork that you're creating and not just something separate, a one-off or totally different, okay? So I think that is what is happening there. I think we had some very strong feelings at the end of yesterday with the moon uh, and a trine to Pluto. I did think it it was going to be a very good kind of strong feeling, okay, because we did come off the solar eclipse, uh, which was very positive to me, but again, Pluto can bring up some negative feelings, okay, and trines too can go either way, so if you weren't feeling good, it could have been some strong feelings, some doubt, some worry, some fear uh, in some way that you need to not let get you down, okay, <laughs> like the goal, especially with this energy, is to not let these strong feelings of uncertainty about your life prevent you from doing the things that you need to do, okay, so I think we come into the day with some of these very strong feelings, for better or for worse, that we then have to figure out how to channel into some commitment of of ours, okay? How to commit to these new things that have happened or these new insights or where our life is going and to do it in a way, like I said yesterday, that's disciplined, uh, that is dedicated and that just to make sense, okay? To where things are going, all right? I think that's happening. I think you're having to think differently about your past, about the way you thought about your past, about the way you did things in the past, okay? I think the past is important you because it does help us get to where we are, but I think, you know, you need to realize that it can't hold you back, to not let it hold you back, to not do things the way that you've always done, but to still be able to kind of move forward and come into new phases with some of your projects and some of your commitments and some of the things that you've been working on that you really want, all right? There may be some uncomfortable feelings that come up, some hurts today, some difficulties, especially with the moon in an opposition to Chiron, meaning that while you're going about doing your thing, which may not feel that great anyways, us having to kind of redirect some of our energies here to some old things coming on, you know, that we're having some obstacles maybe come out of us out of the blue that aren't feeling too good today, maybe some feelings that we just don't like, and I think you've got to realize today how to break free from the past and break free from all these old feelings, how to really move forward and to come into new chapters with these new projects that you've been working on and to do them in a different way, to do them in a better way, but to keep at them, to keep at them, okay, and to just put them in a better place, all right? While this is happening as well, we also do have Venus and a square to Uranus coming exact okay, and the trying to Chiron, so we're having more unexpected things that are coming up today, especially when it comes to relationships, when it comes to money, just our values, what we value in life, things like that, that may not feel the most comfortable as well, and I think you really do need to push past them, figure out how to build more stability in your life that you want, okay, how to be comfortable with some of these things that are happening, even if they aren't your favorite, and to keep moving on. I think there's an opportunity to overcome some of these hard things, okay, to build more stability in your life, 
But if you get lost in all these feelings, if you're feeling bad that your life isn't going where you want it to go, it's going to be very, very hard for you to do that. Okay. I need, I think you need to stop thinking about all these unexpected things that keep coming up and have come up, you know, the beginning of this month. I think you need to think about them in different ways. Stop thinking about the way, you know, that they're going to bring you down and that they're always going to be happening and that they're always going to be upsetting or whatever is going on here. And to realize that when things that come up that are unexpected, they can fuel you to move forward, to have new insights, to go in a different direction. And that the same unexpected things that have been pulling you off your track and making you feel uncomfortable aren't always going to keep occurring. Okay. Especially now that all of these planets, all the fast moving planets are going to be past this square to Uranus and this trying to Chiron for a while. Okay. You're not going to have as many of these unexpected issues occur in the same way that they have been occurring recently. Okay. And to realize that and to realize this is the last time you're going to have to deal with some of these things and to just get past them and to beat them once and for all. Okay. So that you can do what it is that you want and do the things that you need to do and get the insights that you need and move forward. Okay. And I think after that happens, the moon is going to move into Libra at 7 PM and we're going to begin to be more balanced in a more balanced way about our life, especially after the moon, after the moon is coming off of Pluto earlier in the day. I think at night, we're going to think about, okay, we had all these strong feelings about where life was going, wanting to manifest, wanting to do this, or conversely, not feeling that good about it. And I think at night on Wednesday, you begin to think, okay, all right, how can I balance this now that everything has kind of come up and come out, especially with the Venus and the Uranus stuff. Now, what can I do that's more solid? How can I make sense of this? How can I really commit to something that I need? All right. While that's going on, Mars is also in a conjunction with the North Node. So we still want to move forward, still want to do what needs to be done, still thinking about the future. Future, Jupiter as well, still on the sextile to Saturn, so still trying to commit to things that we think are good for us, wrap our mind around where our life is going, okay? I think there's a lot of good things there, especially once we get towards the end of the day, especially while this happens, but it's just trying to figure out how to bring your whole life together, not get stuck in old ways of doing things, and realize that you are getting through some of these old issues. Some of these old issues that you've had for so long are, are ending, they're leaving, and if you can beat this one more time, if you can do it, then you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine and new chapters are going to come in. Okay. That's really what I want to tell you today. Today looks a little bit more challenging to me than the other days of the week. So I would just be a little bit careful today and, and don't get carried away if you have any hard feelings. All right. Now your card for the day is, let's see. Oh, okay. Sorry. I just had someone knock on my door. It was Xfinity. Uh, they were having some kind of special that they were handing out and it looks like now, um, I'm going to have faster internet, which I hope will help me upload these videos to YouTube faster as well as the news channels. I've been wanting the news channels cause I don't really watch TV, but now that I have the news channels, hopefully that will help. So that was cool. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. Now your card for today is let us see we have got the three of swords reversed okay this card is kind of interesting the three of swords upright to me is definitely a heartbreak card things being very hard not feeling right emotionally just things being difficult when it's reversed it's saying you're trying to come out of a hard time you're trying to make sense of some things that have been difficult for you that haven't maybe made sense in some ways so you can move forward i did say that today is going to be a more difficult day than the others and i think what you're trying to do is you're trying to overcome some of these things from the past put everything together the new stuff that's going on with the old stuff all right so that you really can come into a better place see things more clearly than you have in the past and be able to move forward on them in a much much better way okay so that's what i think is going on today thank you so much for watching your horoscope if you like it please like it on facebook please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later